Hello, pup parents, and welcome to today's episode of the Perfect Pup Podcast. My name is Devin. We're going to talk about how stereotypes that we often apply to our dogs can end up hurting them and especially can be a negative thing for their training. So let's get right into it. Most of us are familiar with how stereotypes can be harmful to groups and individuals as humans, but we don't often think about what stereotypes can do to our dogs and how they can put us as pup parents into a bit of a mental trap. And it can also negatively affect our dogs uh, and how we raise them and specifically how we train them. Here's a popular stereotype, right? All dogs love to get pets. Well, TV and the things that we've often come to see portrayed on uh, media, whether that be movies, social media, it it puts us into that thought process that all dogs love to be pet. But is that true? Do all dogs really love to be pet? And if if we continually think of that stereotype or apply that stereotype to all dogs around us, there can be harm that is caused. In a specific example, if a dog you know, you as an individual think, oh, all dogs love to get pets and you go up to pet a dog and that dog doesn't love getting pet and you get bit. Whether that's you as an individual approaching someone else's dog or think of someone else with that stereotype in their head approaching your dog. It can, it can hurt your dog in the sense that they're put into a situation that they actually don't enjoy and something bad might happen, which would have negative repercussions for you and for your dog. Another one Often with the breed, you know, it might not be all dogs, you know, that's many of the stereotypes is that dogs are this or dogs like that. But sometimes it's breed specific where we think all Labrador retrievers are dog friendly. And while that is often true, it's not always the case. I have a Labrador retriever who has been unfortunately attacked multiple times And that has made her not always dog friendly to every dog that she is around. It will depend a lot on on the breed and the situation and and just generally how the other dog is behaving towards her. So again, that stereotype, if I just wanted to, you know, plow through and think, okay, you know, she's a lab, she'll be dog friendly to every dog I go around. It could end up with her getting into situations where she's very uncomfortable might resort to biting or nipping at other dogs, and then it just creates this whole host of other problems. Another stereotype that I think specifically does us harm when it comes to training our dogs is we put a label on our dog as being too hard to train. We think, oh, puggles are too hard to train. I'm not even going to try. I'm using puggles as an example because I used to have a puggle who's now passed away. And I can admit that he was a little bit more challenging to train and came into my family when he was older. And so I wasn't around for the young puppy training stages. But a lot of times we think that a specific breed, they're labeled as hard headed or, you know, they, they are dismissive of humans or they don't want to be trained. And sometimes I think that puts us into a rut as pup parents where we just think, well, I don't know if I should even try or, you know, maybe it's not working because my dog is just hard to train. And so I'm going to resort to something like a shock collar or a prong collar that is going to do negative things to that dog's psyche in the long run. Sometimes stereotypes can be somewhat accurate for our dogs and for breeds and for those types of things, but every single dog is different. While there are some generalities that can apply to breeds and can apply to dogs as a whole, your dog is unique, your dog is specific to you and and their characteristics and their personality and their behaviors and their strengths and their weaknesses. And that's what's important to remember is that us as pup parents, we have the ability to tap into our unique dog and what is going to work for them. I've told this story many times, but for some first time listeners, I have two Labrador retrievers, like I've mentioned, one of them absolutely loves food, like 
wants to find snacks on the ground, super food driven, which is again, kind of stereotypical of a lab. But one of my labs, she does not really care about food. And for the longest time, we focused on, well, she's a lab, all dogs love treats. Let's keep trying this treat training thing. Let's keep doing it. And it just wasn't working for her. And when we switched to using fetch and using a ball as a reward, again, kind of going into a stereotype of Labradors that they're retrievers and they like to fetch, but when we switched off from, okay, she's a dog, all, all puppies need to love food, you know, all dogs need to love treats. And we, we focused in on what was her strength, which is her prey drive. It can be a challenge, but it is also a strength. And by doing that, by, you know, kind of tearing down those stereotypes and just saying, but what does Scout specifically need? It made her training so much more enjoyable for both her and for us. And it was more effective when we were using throwing the ball as a reward, her recall improved dramatically. That's just one example. So I hope this gets you thinking on any stereotypes that you have in your head about your dog that may be limiting them and may be limiting how you approach the training, how you approach raising them. And, you know, it's just food for thought that most times the stereotypes we have about people and about dogs end up causing more harm than any good that can come from those stereotypes. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please forward it to a friend, leave a review on Apple Podcasts, subscribe on YouTube if you're watching there. And other than that, we will catch you on the next episode.